This procedure will require the following items. Installation tool. Feral adapter. Proper eye protection is recommended. Depress the red reset button until a positive stop is reached. Open the cover on the installation tool. Make sure the VFL coupler is at the top of its travel path. Apply slight pressure until a positive stop is reached. Rotate the ridged portion of the ferrule adapter counterclockwise to loosen it. Using your thumb, secure the VFL coupler and pull the ferrule adapter away. Slight resistance is normal. Remove the ferrule adapter from its container. Remove the white dust cap from the ferrule adapter. The toolkit comes with two ferrule adapters, 2.5 mm and 1.25 mm. The 1.25 mm ferrule adapter is appropriate for use with the LC connector. The 2.5 mm ferrule adapter is appropriate for use with SC and ST compatible connector designs. Move the ferrule adapter collar away from the tip to expose the key. Reinstall the ferrule adapter, aligning the key on the ferrule adapter to the notch on the VFL coupler port. Once aligned, apply slight inward pressure to mate the threads and tighten securely with your fingers, rotating the ridged portion of the ferrule adapter clockwise. Remove the dust cap from the ferrule and the black dust cap from the lead-in tube. Depress the black load button until a positive stop is reached. Do not release it. All three connector designs use a different feature to indicate orientation of the connector when installed in the tool. Insert the connector lead-in tube down through the wrench. Slowly release the black button to lower the connector cradle. Align the connector into the cradle slot. Ensure that the connector body is seated within the cradle and that the cradle is at the end of its travel path. The feature that faces outward is dependent upon the connector design. Approximately one millimeter of the connector lead-in tube should extend past the leading edge of the wrench. Lower the VFL coupler until a positive stop is reached. Place the power switch in the on position. The green light below the switch should illuminate. Close the cover on the installation tool and stand the unit on its end. 